and welcome to our plugin showcase. So what is Blog Toolbox? Blog Toolbox is an extension of RainLab Blog plugin, which is currently most used plugin on October CMS. So basically Blog Toolbox is a collection of tools that will help, help you improve your SEO, backend security and a bunch of more cool stuff. So let's get on components. These are the components that are available inside our plugin. As you can see right here, it, it has newsletter, post CEO, post search, post by tag, related post, user profile, visit count and newsletter update component. So to demonstrate, I'm gonna open up our official blog page uh, and I'm gonna first show you post by tag component. Right here we have a list of tags uh, for each post. If we click on some tag right, right here, it will open up a page and this page has attached uh, this component post by tag. It works like this. So this component will uh, read this tag and it will give you a list of the posts that contains that same tag inside of the, of the post. So you get something like this. Okay, so let's close this down. Next thing I want to show you is post search component. So post search component is uh, right here. If we click on this magnifying glass. Uh, so, okay, so we already have something. So let's say for example, we type in um, CRM. It's gonna give you a post list that has CRM keyword inside title. Uh, but let's type in blog toolbox. Uh, some options for this component which you can configure is uh, you can set uh, this search to be uh, by the title or by the, the by the content of the post sorry so let's say if we click on this uh, blog toolbox post this will open up a single post page uh, I recommend or I recommend you to read this uh, post if you want to learn more about our plugin it is actually a post series, so you can read uh, different posts, so you can learn more about our components, controllers or models. Uh, but the main thing I wanna show you right here is related posts. This is also a component uh, right here. <coughs> sorry. Uh, so this post, uh, sorry, so this component will read the tags from this uh, opened post, the blog toolbox uh, post, it has some tags inside and this component will cross check the tags from this post with other posts you have created. And if the match is made, made you will get a list of the posts right here. Uh, you can configure a number of posts returned by the component. Uh, you can set it for like five, 10, 20, it's up to you. Uh, another thing I wanna show you right here uh, is the user profile component. So if you scroll up, here you can see the link right right here so let's click it and let's close this down uh, so this page uses a user profile component this component requires a user uh, slug so this is the slug it is unique for every user this component will give you some basic information about the user uh, such as avatar first name Last, last name, business position, user biography, and you will also get a list of the posts this user created inside the backend. So this is it for the uh, profile component. You can have some social links and more additional information, which we haven't put in, but I'm gonna show you in the backend just a minute. So let's close this uh, and yeah, let's close this, this one. I'm gonna show you uh, this newsletter subscribe component uh, right here over here you have a newsletter so this component will give you uh, email input and give you a list of the categories which are checked as a newsletter category so if your user wants to uh, subscribe to your news news newsletter he has to insert his email and select at least one uh, category and that's it. So let's see how we can change these categories back uh, in the October CMS backend. 
let's open up blog section and let's go to the categories and let's open news category so over here you have a checkbox is newsletter so you see you can see it's checked right here and you can see it right here so if you want to remove it all you need to do is uncheck this and save and this uh, news category will be removed from the list right here uh, let's go to the posts right now <clears throat> I'm gonna show you some new stuff we added so this hasn't changed so this is the title and this is the content as usually inside categories uh, nothing changed uh, except for newsletter if you want to send a newsletter notification you have to select the category uh, and you can target your audience uh, with these categories you can you can check uh, which user is subscribed to which category and if you select a news category for example uh, newsletter will be sent only to users that are subscribed to this category in order to send a newsletter you have to come to the manage tab uh, you have to uh, set published and set the date and the time and there uh, and now below the feature images you have a checkbox send newsletter email uh, as it says only sent when post is created updates don't send emails uh, so if you want to send a, a email notification uh, you just need to click this and when you save the post and when you create the post it will send emails to every user that is subscribed to uh, these categories you check right here so let's move on to the tags uh, right here you can insert your tags for example plugin um, news sorry uh, October CMS uh, what you need to need to know that uh, tags are separated by comma and that's it so when you put in the tags right here uh, you can display them like this and the component post by tags will actually look into these uh, tags to find the re related posts uh, so this is it for the tags I think yeah that's it so for the CEO uh, right here we added some fields for better uh, post CEO so you have a meta title meta description a uh, few more options you have open graph title description and image uh, so when you insert the data right here when we go back to the component I'm just gonna show you in just a sec uh, so component uh, you have a post CEO component when you add this component to the page it will uh, fetch the data from the post and inject it in your uh, page meta uh, uh, elements immediately it's done automatically so you don't have to uh, struggle with showing your meta description and other uh, data uh, so that's it for this one uh, okay we, we can close this but let's leave it open uh, yes another thing I want to show you is let's go let's go to my account inside here you can see uh, additional tabs uh, right here in personal info you can see a biography uh, you can see contact email and the user slug which I mentioned before uh, this uh, field is unique for every every user you can change it but it has to stay unique over here you have social networks <coughs> sorry you can add Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, Instagram, LinkedIn, Medium, Twitch uh, links to your uh, user and right here you can add business position uh, over here this is the default avatar from the October CMS so nothing changed here inside the account uh, everything is the is same but we have an additional two-step two authentication so if you check this you will get a recovery email input and this button to download token as txt file so uh, if you enable two-step authentication and user tries to log into the backend uh, system will uh, send token email to the primary email address 
uh, but if you for some reason lose access to a primary email address you will need a recovery email and you go through, through the steps to recover your login data then in that case you will have to uh, insert your email and insert the token from this txt file and new token will be generated and sent to your recovery email that way you can uh, again log into the backend and change your primary email if you lose the access to it okay uh, so let's go back to the well not back let's go to the blog toolbox the plugin section all right here uh, you have a list of your subscribers in this newsletter subscribers right you can open it you can check their email check their options uh, over here we have a visits uh, we have a graph that that is showing you day by day visits uh, in the last seven days below this graph there is a table uh, which uh, lists your posts and the visits uh, please note that these visits are lifetime visits it's not just last seven days it's, it's total visits uh, okay uh, yeah that's it for the visits uh, let's go to the custom post types uh, you can also add custom post types directly to the post but with uh, these custom post types you can add uh, custom post type to multiple posts at the same time so let's say we check these four posts and let's say we add custom post type with the key uh, price and we put in like this so now when we save the data this custom post type with uh, this key value pair will be saved to all the posts selected right here uh, inside the settings <clears throat> you can see uh, some settings for the newsletter I'm not gonna go into detail what each uh, input and option uh, does uh, because we're gonna make uh, separate tutorials about this plugin how to set up every component in detail and we will explain everything in much more detail this is just a showcase so you can see what is this plugin is about uh, so yeah that's probably it for now um, if you have any questions uh, you can comment down below uh, if you have any ideas for upgrading this plugin su such as uh, uh, some features you want to see you can put in, in the comments and if you like this video please leave it a thumbs up and if you want to stay updated please subscribe because we will be creating new uh, videos with uh, uh, as well we will create plugin tutorials and October CMS general tutorials how to install set up everything and how to uh, actually uh, get it running so thank you for watching and before you leave please check out the video description because we have prepared special coupons for you so you can have this plugin for a much cheaper price uh, and enjoy it. Thank you for watching, see you in the next one.